No, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't have any discussions with Johnny and Jerry about them leaving the Dolls or me leaving television before it happened. Um, uh, we played that gig, and I didn't know Johnny that well. I mean, uh, that's the only time we ever played with him, and he would come around to CBGB's, and, and he'd seen me play, and we, you know, sat around and had drinks together, but, um, uh, you know, the Dolls were still like... Um, you know they were, uh, kind of, they were on a level above. You know because they they were making records and they made, had such a big impact in New York. Um, though, you know, it was pretty clear uh, after the release of that first record and then the second record, um, really, um, uh, what was you know. A decline for sure. Um, um, that you know, it's pretty clear that things were kind of falling apart uh, there. Though, um, no, we hadn't discussed it. Um, it j what happened is that I just got a phone call from him. He'd heard um, that I left the band, uh, and he and Jerry had just decided to leave the dolls and he wanted to uh, make a band with me. So, um, but yeah, there wasn't any discussion in advance. It wasn't like, listen, I'm ready to leave television and you guys ready to leave the dolls and you know, nothing like that. No, so, I, I was surprised, really surprised when I heard from him. I didn't know the dolls, I didn't know that he was going to leave the dolls and I, when they were in Florida, he called me from Florida, as I recall, I think I'm right about that. Um, They'll maybe just come back to New York from there. But anyway, um, I uh, I was surprised he found out so quickly that I'd left television because it was within a couple of days of, of my, my having decided I was leaving. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, the way that we talked about it being what we and you know what I. Uh, it, it, what we, what our plans for the Heartbreakers uh, were, were the same as what television was when we first started television, which is that there were two singers and songwriters in the group. And the television was me and Tom, and Heartbreakers was me and Johnny. Um, though, um, and that pretty much the, the we we'd share the uh, the singing and, and songwriting. Um, Though actually in the Heartbreakers, uh, the assumption was that I'd be doing more of it. That Johnny would be, uh, uh, because he had never really been a singer, and I, you know, I, I, uh, at, at the beginning in television, I was singing like every third song, and the idea was I would be singing more as I wrote more, and it ended up going the other direction. But, um, uh, but uh, they were basically inviting me to be the singer. Um, though it was understood that uh, Johnny uh, w would be writing some songs too and he'd be singing the ones he wrote. Uh, um, but when we started it was pretty even uh, because I didn't want to try to do the songs with the Heartbreakers that Tom and I had written together and that was the majority of the ones that I'd done on television. That I'd only written maybe three or four by myself. Uh, because when I first started, I was just writing lyrics until I got a better idea of how you go about writing music. Um, so there were, you know, four or five songs that I'd done in television that Tom had written the music for, and I didn't want to do those. I wanted the ones that I did with the Heartbreakers to be ones that I just wrote myself. So um, I only had three or four songs to start with, and he had three or four already, uh, you know, that he'd written. Um, so it was fairly, it was pretty even. Yeah, we we immediately had a following. I mean, it wasn't like we had to build an audience. Yeah, because there'd been enough people who had been into what I was doing, and enough people who'd been into what he was doing. So, um, yeah, we it, it, we were immediately at the same level as the most successful local groups. Yeah.